at an airspeed of about 280 knots. A loud bang was heard on the cockpit voice recorder and increased vibrations were recorded from the number two engine. Now, after the loud bang was heard, the crew began completing checklists. They declared an emergency with air traffic control and they stated their intentions to return back to Denver. And the airplane did make a safe single engine landing about 20 minutes after the engine failure. Now, regarding the fan blade that was fractured at the root, a preliminary on scene exam indicates damage consistent with metal fatigue. Now, this, pe this piece is being flown on a private jet tonight to Pratt & Whitney's headquarters or Pratt & Whit Whitney's uh, laboratory where it will be examined tomorrow under the, under the supervision of NTSB investigators. Now, as far as the fire, uh, we do have indications that the fuel to the uh, engine was turned off. So we will be looking to see exactly what may have uh, continued to propagate a fire. And so in metal fatigue, you're usually going to find what I will describe as beach marks. Uh, it will be a series of, of marks uh, that you can vi visibly see um, or that you can see oftentimes with the naked eye that are just, uh, just marks. And each of those marks, uh, once you put it under a, a, a scanning electron microscope, uh, you can actually count the number of cycles since the initiation of that fatigue. We, by our strictest definition, do not consider this to be an uncontained engine failure because the containment ring contained the parts as they were flying out. Now, from a practical point of view, from the flying public, it, it really doesn't matter. They've worked with local law enforcement officials as well as local residents to locate and recover debris that fell from the aircraft. Uh, as you pointed out, the uh, United Airlines has grounded uh, all of the um, affected in, uh, airplanes with these engines. And it's uh, my understanding that the FAA is also working uh, very quickly, as well as um, Pratt & Whitney has uh, reiterated or revised a uh, service bulletin. So it uh, looks like action is being taken. And um, so that's uh, that's what's happening there.